<laughs> no, Luke seems nice. What do you like to work for? Oh, he's very nice, Joanne. I think I like working for him. He's very intelligent. Uh -huh. He's a good student. He's uh -huh. a lot of fun to be yeah. with. Um, yeah. In fact, he's one of my closest friends. Mm -hmm. Well, we are all very glad to hear that because he is standing right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> will move in a different direction. You mean after I quit my job tonight? Not entirely, Luke. We're still going to see each other. I'm going to stay out of your life. I know. But we're bound to be running into each other. Well, I'm going to try. Laura? You might be able to make it easier for me. How? It's like this. I know what I did to you that night. I know that it was rape. Brutal. Rape. I don't know how I could have done it to you. I swear to you I don't. But if you could forgive me, it might make it easier for me to stay away. Luke, I don't want you on this guilt trip any longer. I mean that. You have to remember that you thought that night that you were going to be dead within a month. I mean, people do all kinds of crazy things when they think that their lives are over. Yes. The answer is yes. I have forgiven you. What you heard me say to Joanne, that you're my good friend, well, that's still true for some strange reason. I don't really understand it, but there is... there is some kind of a bond between us, isn't there? Well, I know you'll always be there for me if I'm in any trouble, and I'll do the same for you. Like the night on Lookout Point when you threw my keys over the cliff. You did that because you thought that you were keeping me from being killed, and you were probably right. So, Laura, where do we go from here? Well, look, uh... You're getting involved with Jennifer Smith, and I think that's wonderful. I mean, we all need somebody, and, and she's very interested in you, I can tell. So I think you're off to a terrific start. Sure. Sure. The problem is that, um... Uh, it'll always be you for me. You know that, don't you? Wrong. I don't know, Luke. Everything started closing in on me all at once. Luke. I don't know. I understand. What do you mean? There is so much unfinished business between us, Laura. Still. and the door closed, and then I couldn't get the door open again. Something always Roy meant to get fixed. I tried to get out, Luke. I really did try. But then I heard voices. You heard. You heard everything, didn't you? Yes. What organization is Frank Smith talking about? His company. 
But he said something about having to look legitimate. What is that supposed to mean? Don't ask questions, Laura. Luke, I have to know. Look, please, I'm telling you, don't... Don't ask questions. Just get the hell out of here. And don't look back. You're in trouble, aren't you, Luke? Laura, don't do this. Look at me, Luke. Look at me! I'm worried about you. There's something very evil about those men. Oh, no. No, Laura, don't look at me like that. Luke, I can't leave you like this. Laura, don't do this. You didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. Don't worry about me. Don't care about me, because if you do, I'll... Laura, don't care about me. Laura, please go. Don't do this to me. Okay. Okay, I'll go, but there's something that I want you to know first before I do go. I was furious with you earlier when you kissed me. I was angry. I was bitter. And I was frightened. I was frightened because you made me realize something. Something that I haven't wanted to admit. There's a bond between us, Luke. A bond that we can never break. Laura. No, I don't mean because you raped me. Maybe it's because I saved your life when I threw those car keys over the cliff. I mean, I heard once that when you save a person's life, you interrupt their fate, their destiny, and then you're responsible for them. I don't know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's why we're tied together forever. It's more than that. I love Scotty Luke. I love my husband, and I want to be his wife completely. What are you trying to say to me? What you tried to say to me the night Roy was killed. I am trying to say goodbye, Luke. That's what you want? Yes. Yes, and please stay away from me. I will stay away from you. I don't want to know what's happening in your life. I, I don't want to worry about you. I don't want to care. Goodbye, Laura. I'll always love you. Goodbye, Luke. Call put your life in jeopardy. I don't believe you. You make that call, you put your life, mine, Bobby's, maybe even Aunt Ruby's on the line. That's the ultimate revenge, isn't it? What a fantastic way to pay me back. Oh, you can destroy us all with one phone call. But don't kid yourself. You're not doing it out of noble motives. Well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, call the operator, tell her it's an emergency. I'm sure she'll connect you to the FBI right away. Damn it, Laura. You want revenge? Make that call. If you want to live, you better listen to me. Yes, operator, this is an emergency. I want to speak to... All right, Luke, but your story had better be good. Because if any harm, even the slightest, comes to Scotty or my father-in-law or anybody in my family, I'm going to hold you responsible. The truth is that I was supposed to die that night, not Roy. Frank Smith ordered me to kill Mitch Williams on election night. To prove my loyalty to the organization. I was supposed to make that hit on Williams, not Roy. Could you have done that? I was sure gonna try. Because I knew if I didn't, I'd be a dead man. You see, that's how the organization works, Laura. And now, if you don't believe me, your life is in danger. I mean, if Scotty hadn't asked you to drive me home that night, and if I hadn't thrown the 
car keys down the cliff. I would be dead. No. Laura, that's the truth. The rest of it's all been lies. I've been trying to protect you from my life. I didn't want you involved because I thought you would get hurt. Well, now you are involved, and you're going to get hurt if you don't listen to me. I have been ordered to get you back to work within two weeks. Laura, if you don't come back to work, they're not going to believe that you haven't opened your mouth about what you overheard. You say you love me, and then you're ready to lay this whole guilt trip on me. Well, I can't handle that, Luke, and I won't even try. You begged me against a wall. No, Luke. No, I hate you now, and I hate Bobby and Elm Street and your disco, and I just want you to get out of here. Laura, I'm sorry, but it's too late for schoolgirl hysterics. Somehow you're going to convince Scotty that you have to come back to work at the disco. Otherwise, I will not be able to protect you from what's going to happen. What day are you coming back to work, Laura? I don't know. I have to... Check with my husband and see whether or not I'm coming back. Whether or not? Look, I talked this over with Mr. Smith. He knows all about it. It's going to take a few weeks for her to work this out with her husband. Oh. You don't believe me? Go check with him. I guess I'm sort of uh, an old-fashioned housewife. You know, my husband is the head of the household, and I have to get his approval. <laughs> old-fashioned, huh? Uh, sort of modern, too. I mean, going into the park at night. Without giving it a second thought. All right, lay off, man. Luke, I'm just warning her about that kind of thing. I mean, you were lucky. That could be very dangerous. Be careful. Next time, you could end up there dead. That was a threat, Luke. No, I want That was a real threat. I want to kill him so bad. He's put the squeeze on me, Laura. He's threatening to... Tell how I feel about you if I cross him. Look, if Scotty ever found out how you feel about me... I know, he might put it all together. Scotty thinks of us as very, very good friends. Now, if he ever thought that you were the man who raped me, he would never believe that I wasn't a willing victim. I'm destroying your life. I don't know how to... Oh! What are we going to do now? You know what we have to do. We have to convince Scotty that you come back here to work. They're insisting on it. Oh, look, I'm afraid. I know. Laura, I'll protect you with my life if it comes to that. You know, it's only going to make things more difficult between us if I come back to work at the disco. Maybe so. I keep telling you that I'm going to stay out of your life. I'm really doing a miserable job of it. Seems like we're destined to be thrown together, doesn't it? I fall more in love with you every day of my life. Luke, don't say that. I have to say it. My God, let me say it. I need to see you. I won't touch you, but I do need to see you. I love you, Laura. Well, how are you doing? Not very well, I'm afraid. Well, that doesn't sound good. I just talked to my father. He told me what he asked you to do. Take me to the opening in Las Vegas. Oh, that. I'm really sorry, Luke. Why? Don't you want to go with me? If you really wanted to take me, of course, I'd love to. But I don't want you to take me just because you know you're on my father's acceptable list of dates and because he happens to be your boss. Hey, hold it, girl. I'm not dating you to impress the boss. Still, I don't think it's a good idea that we go on a trip with Laura and Scotty Baldwin. You don't? Don't you find that it would be difficult for you since you're in love with her? Where did you get that ridiculous idea? Laura is a married woman. I walked in on you the other day and saw you talking to her. I heard what... I heard you tell her how much you were in love with her. You misunderstood, Jennifer. No, I didn't, Luke. I would appreciate it if you would forget about that. That's something that happened between Laura and I a long time ago. It must be terrible being in love with someone who is married to someone else. Listen, Jennifer, I told you that's in the past. Now, your father, I know him. He would not approve. 
of my allowing Laura to work here if he thought something was going on between us. So please don't mention the past to him, all right? I promise. As far as I'm concerned, it's nobody's business except yours and Laura's. And if it's over... It is. Completely. Then it'll be our secret. Thank you. Because I'm trying to forget it, too. I hope you'll let me help you do that. How? I think you know how I feel about you. And if it is over with Laura Baldwin, I'd like to start dating you seriously. Well, what can I say? You can say yes.